Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm in a different place right now. I'm off going to a conference as part of my scholarship. And um, I forgot my mascara and I thought, you know, I did half of my face well, minus the lips and I thought might as well just show you all what, what I would do if I forgot my mascara um, and I'm in a pinch to get, you know, get going somewhere. So this conference, I want to look professional, and on this side, I use more neutral tones. I usually go like full of glitter and dark and like do a, a cut crease effect, but um, I don't know if that's totally appropriate for a teacher's conference. So I'm using, as always, my Morphe 35O palette. This is not sponsored. Morphe, please sponsor me. Um, and just going in with some neutral tones. So let's see. I went in with this one for the just like the base shade. Um, this one underneath my eyes because I am poor and do not and cannot afford concealer. And then because um, I'm in college, right? Then I use this color right here for like deepening out my my uh, my crease. And then I think I use like this one, one of the dark shades, to make just a, a little bit more to to deepen it a little more. Um, so I'll just I'll go in with that. I did something a little warmer just because I'm like, I need a little pop somewhere and I cannot see without my glasses, so I'll use my mirror here. I don't have my own handheld mirror. And then, um, it's deeper shade right here. I didn't want to go too warm with the deepening shade on the outer corner because I know that, like, that doesn't draw back as much as a cool tone um but whatever you know then you know, this. i'm trying to look for the imprints on here to see which one i did there's no name so i can't like put it to a name just you know lightly i use my pinky usually to buff things out and i'm trying not to put so much makeup on because like this area is so dry And then since like lashes really complete the look and I don't, I mean, I have some false lashes right now, but I don't really want to wear them. I think they'd be a little too much. Um, what I say is that I go for the French look, which is like neutralize red lips and like I woke up beautiful kind of deal, um, which is my excuse to like not go full out. So I'll use like this brown eyeliner and not black because like, I feel with black eyeliner, you have to put on lashes, but like, you know, you do you. And I've gotten so used to pencil that like, using liquid, I, I can't figure it out. I really don't know. I mean, I do know, it's just that like, I've been using pencil since I was in middle school or high school. And like, I can't figure out how to use anything else. I mean, I did have a felt tip, which was really nice for liquid, but, you know, that was 15 bucks. Which I know isn't like a lot for some of you, but for me, 15 bucks can go to a week's worth of groceries if you're being tight on the budget and I like to eat. I can look beautiful after I graduate college, have my degree. Right now, I just need to get my degree. Is that even? Okay. And then on this side, I kind of went underneath just because, like, why not? I liked, I really like that 2012 eyeliner look that I would see in coupon books. Like, I don't know if you remember it, but it was like it would go down and then, like, around the bottom so you wouldn't make a wing. It would just like be continuous and I thought it looked so pretty. I could never master it and I wanna I wanna try. Alright. Oh and I need to do my eyebrows. I'm sure I do my eyebrows first, but don't not this time. I forgot. Oh and I totally forgot to go underneath my eyes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it will really make a difference. This banana yellow color is the closest to my color at this point of the year. <coughs> Excuse me. 
like during the summer i'll turn into this really nice pretty brown color and then during the during the winter it's like hey back to yellow back to my asian yellow color if you're a mix if you're a mixed person tell me like what kind of mixes you have because like i struggle sometimes with being both uh you know not just both but like a lot of different things and so it's like my eye shape is this, but like my hair is different. So what kind of fashion do I have that fits both? And then like everything Asian that I want is not in my size because I'm not Asian sized. I'm just Asian cultured on the inside. That's a struggle for y'all. Like when you all travel back to Asia and you're like, I don't know, half Asian, half something else and you're, you come back to Asian, you're like bigger, taller, and stronger than everyone else, so like none of the clothes fit you. And it's like, oh yes, it's all meant for these little people. And you're like, I'm not a little person. Which is exactly what happened to me. So when I go back, it's like, oh, I'm taller than everyone else. I feel tall. And then I come back to the US and I'm like, oh, hi everyone. <laughs> I'm really short. Oh, and this is elf, because I'm cheap. For now, I'm gonna be really cheap. And my mom was the one who taught me, because she used to do showbiz, that fingers are your best brush. And sometimes brushes do work better, but for now, fingers. What time is it? Okay, I still got time. Now for lips. I usually line my lips now, because why not? Maybe a red won't do well. I mean, you can never go wrong with nude right now. That's the, uh, that's the style that's in. I got this color from, uh, from a Christmas palette, or a Christmas palette, like a Christmas makeup case for my parents. Oh, my skin is so bad. I need to eat more vegetables. Like at home, my mom's house, my parents' house, like, I ate so many vegetables and now it's like, I'm just gonna go on to cheat. I should just eat cucumbers all the time now. You know. And I gave in and got frozen vegetables. So now I'll just pick those whenever I need them. I can't tell if I'm freckling because I don't usually freckle or if I just have blackheads. Like, I found three freckles on this side of my face, and this summer I found three freckles on me. I didn't think I could, but oh gosh, I need to fix that. Um, but apparently I do freckle. I said eight minutes. Okay. Now on two lips. Okay, and this has been my trusty wine color lipstick. It's almost gone. And the, the name of the shade is Wine in this elf. It was like three bucks at Walmart. Not sponsored. Please sponsor me, elf. Or whoever. I'm in chemical engineering and I'd like to do makeup. Please give me an internship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, overline that. And then, okay, so I need to get new lipstick. So this isn't exactly a French look. Maybe. They go for more reds, what I've noticed. At least like the few videos that I watched on French looks. You know what? It's gonna. I'm gonna say this is the Filipino style because this looks really like what I would see in the Philippines. Just women wearing. They don't really wear eye makeup. It's more like face and lips. So like eyebrows, blush, lips. That's what they do. And then in the United States, it's like eyes, bold lips, whatever your taste is. So that's what it is. Um, if you want to look professional, I don't know if like my when I say professional, usually I do still do like full out glitter, but um, 
I still also has to deal with the time constraints and the fact that I did forget mascara. So I didn't want to go like full out and have like empty eyelashes so that like my, my look looks very incomplete. Um, anyway, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and just let me know if um, what, what kind of tips that you have for me because I'm always learning. I am not an expert in any of this whatsoever. Okay, so let me know um, what your thoughts are, okay? So bye guys!